Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to continue our iPhone 5 tips series of videos. There's others if you haven't seen them. And in this one, we're going to talk about restrictions. Restrictions are something that you may or may not want to use on your phone, but the instances where you will want to use them is maybe you just bought a phone for someone in your family and you don't want them to have access to everything or or you're running a business and you don't want everybody to have access to everything on their phone just for privacy things like that this should help you figure out how to do that so the first thing you want to do is locate your settings icon go into settings then you want to scroll down to general under general scroll down until you get to restrictions you can see it's turned on here now in order to turn it on Actually, it's off, but I'm not sure why it's asking for this, but I just set my password to 1234 for this example. And if you haven't set a password before, it's going to ask for a password. So set up whatever your password is. And you can see it's got all of these different options. We can allow different things or disallow. If we don't want access to the camera, we can disallow that and all of these different things, apps, Siri, explicit language. Now, some of the things you may be more interested in are different ratings for music. If you don't want explicit, explicit music, you can go into music and shut that off. Same goes for movies. We can adjust them by rating, allow or don't allow any movies. Same for TV shows and books and apps as well. We can allow different apps based on what their ratings are or what they're rated in the app store and we can shut off in-app purchases now this may be helpful if you've got young kids and they may have a tendency to buy in-app purchases that cost a lot of money you can turn off in-app purchases and disallow that there's some other settings as well you've got location services maybe you want to not allow any changes to these things location services or you want to disallow location services altogether you can do that same with contacts uh, bluetooth sharing we can shut all of these things off twitter maybe we don't want someone using twitter on their phone you can disallow that same with facebook and then there's other things as well we have accounts and find my friends find my friends you can maybe not allow changes or allow them and multiplayer games and adding friends now individual apps you can't necessarily go into those and make changes to those you would have to do that from within the app but this should probably help you get a good overview of what you can allow or disallow on your phone uh, for different reasons whether that be you just gave a phone to someone maybe one of your kids or someone you know and you don't want them to have access to everything you can disable that or disallow that so if you have any questions or suggestions please place those in the comments below if you haven't subscribed please subscribe as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time